All right, so this is about runes. All right, the runes could have such a potential in this game. It really could. It could be so much of a strategic item in this game. I really hope PG listens to this. If you guys agree with any of my comments on this, please like the video, please comment, please share it. If you send it to contact support, some people do that with my changes video, uh, and it did get to PG. I don't know if he's feedback so far, but I might be posting this on the forums depending on the response. Um, but yeah, so here are my opinions on how to make runes better. All right. So this is the first thing is monuments. Make it so people can change around their runes on monuments. It's a pretty simple concept. Just it, they used to not be able to use uh, movable at all, but now they've given us the option, quote unquote, to unequip it with rubies. All right, so here's my thoughts on this. Make it free. Just make it free. The reason why is because the uh, meta in this game is always changing. Necrix changed the meta for a lot of players' bases, right? Because it used to be just put and spam a bunch of ice and fire turrets and dark flax, and you will beat every single dragon in the game almost, unless they have a resist. The thing with Necrix is, is as spells, Elemental Barrier, which is a white spell, one rage, makes it so all that damage actually benefits him. So, for me personally, I wanted to change around my base for a long time, but I can't because it's costing rubies. So, that's my idea, is if it's supposed to be a strategy game, we should not be hindered by the fact that we have to use rubies. We should just be able to do it anyway. Right? Just make it so we can get ruby. Sorry, we can just move it for free. Or make it way less, right? Let's say 10 or 50. 50 for a max of a legendary rune. Because it takes four to replace all my runes. On my base, it would take 30,000 rubies. 30,000 rubies. Or round that, sorry, round that. Uh, oh, wait, no, sorry, 20,000, my bad, my bad. It was I did the math a little while ago. So it was about 20,000 rubies or so to redo my entire base. That's almost $100 just to do runes. And think about it, we do a lot of stuff in events to get these. So it, we should be able to move it around whenever we need to. So that's my first thing. Make it either reduce the cost completely, reduce it significantly, or make it so you have to spend a little bit of rune dust. I could see that. I, I could see it being rune dust because that way it's a little bit more free to play because you do get rune dust in the season prizes. I could see that. Um, and I think that would be all right. I think a lot, not as many people will be complaining about that than rubies, you know? So that's that. Also, I'm going to be starting out with the, simple, the simpler things uh, that I think they should do and they probably can do pretty easily. Uh, is make the stupid stop giving us these random glyphs that okay I have so many healing striker glyphs in my thing I don't even know what to do with because every single event we either have rejuvenate or healing striker healing striker is for farms and I feel like PG is just getting more or less like not I don't want to say lazy but I don't understand the point of having healing strikers people only need three max but it's like we've had it so it's four or five weeks in a row of healing striker in the team prizes or in the personal prizes make it so these runes in the personal prizes maybe fine keep the team as it is i mean that's fine personal prizes you know i would go try hard in some events if we were able to get runes that i could actually use put rage runes in there when you've done that, I've actually gone for the Legendary Glyph. I've actually spent some money because the Legendary Glyphs are very hard to get. Um, so, you know what I'm saying? If you make it worthwhile, people will most likely do it. So, putting, you know, these useless Glyphs. Now, Healing Mark could be beneficial if you have Borgen or maybe the next. I'm um, sorry, I don't know how long that was up. My bad. Um, that wasn't a, that's just the screen record I'm using. Um, this could be used on a dragon, but... Healing Striker? Nah, dude. No one needs it. Stop putting them in. Putting in it. You can do Wisdom Runes. You can do Rage Runes. You can do Cloak Runes. Like, stuff that is usable at all levels. And also, I had, a, I had an idea. I don't think this is doable. But what if once a month, you could have... Or maybe every major event. No, no, no. Every minor event. No, yeah, yeah. Ma every major event. Age, every major event. Players could choose one rune that they would like to have. So let's say you could have a customized. All right, so let's say you have a dragon that you want to rune up. Okay, and but you don't have a earthquake glyph. Okay, well, in major events, what you do is you choose to have a uh, earthquake glyph. So you get these earthquake, earthquake glyphs that you need. 
but you can only, let's say you can only choose rage runes once in every two months. So let's say you have this panel of rune choice that you can have, but it resets every two months, but you cannot choose the exact same rune within a two month period. See, I think that would be good, right? Does that, I, again, leave a like and let me know down in the comments what you guys think, but I think that would be beneficial. That way people can customize their dragons even more instead of just having a billion rage runes on every single dragon, right? Because it, it just gets boring. There's no strategy in that. So yeah, that's that's events. Seasons, tiers, again, I same concept. I think you need to be making it so there's more runes and glyphs that are based on um, the dragon itself and stop putting in uh, wisdom and rage runes are right for hunters. I think the rage runes for hunters are good. And Sorcerers for the Warrior, I think the spells are a little bit better. Um, maybe even putting three runes in there, like a Epic, Legendary, and Mythic. And just put like, you know, an Epic Rage or something. That would be okay. I think that would be nice to um, add. Alright, so now the next thing. Alright, this is the Runic Chess. Put all the runes, alright, put all the runes that are in Runic Chess in the Silver Chest. I don't know what, what's the point of making it so there's exclusive runes. All right, and again, this is kind of the same idea, is that you really, I think what they need to do is make runes for almost every single spell in the game. Don't release a tier of dragons until you have runes available for that tier. Because what rune are you going to put on this guy, except, well, I guess he has extracted as a total. Let me find a, let me find a one I can make this. Okay, so unless you are spending money on these runic chests, and even if you are, there are no runes except for rage and wisdom you can put on this guy. None. So, that, why are you, I don't understand the point. Put, make runes for every single spell in the game. It's been so long since we got a rune update, uh, except for the runic chests, which have runes for certain spells that aren't in normal uh, chests, but at the same time, this needs to happen as soon as possible, in my opinion. It could really make a difference, because personally for me, I, I'm saving up my silver chests just in case they do it, because I like putting on good runes on all my dragons. I'm proud of my necrix, right? But unfortunately, I can't due to the fact that runes aren't available for most spells in the game, ex unless you get them through the season tier. All right. So that's that's that. Make make runes for all spells in the game and put them in silver chests, not just runic chests. Don't make it pay to play. Just put it in to where runic rune chests will have these runes as well. I don't, I don't really think that it's possible. Sorry, it's that, you know, that unreasonable to ask for that because it adds a lot of strategy. Okay, so that's all the basic stuff. Now, this is more complicated and something that I think would add a ton of strategy to this game. And I think this is actually, it's kind of second. I think all this stuff that I mentioned should happen first, but then this should be something in a future update. This could be a massive update to add a lost strategy to this game, alright? Uh, this is not copyright, so you could take this idea and use it, PG. But okay, so let's talk about really quickly how runes work. If it is an epic, legendary, or mythic tier rune, you have two different um, bonuses that you get with runes, alright? So this one, for example, is epic fireball. So the main stat is damage, and the secondary stat is rage generation. So that means that if you have this rune on a dragon, he's going to do more damage with his fireball, the spell, not his actual fireball tap or whatever, the spell, and also rage generation. Now, there is a special kind, and this is true with any, right? So, like right here, increase super shot damage of trebuchets and trebuchet attack speed. But then there is, where is it? This right here. This is a special rune. This is actually one of the most unique runes that you'll see, and this is rejuvenate prevents damage by 10%. So when using Rejuvenate spell, you do, towers do 10% less damage to you. It's not increasing the amount of health you get, it's the amount of damage you take. So these are runes that are based on spells. This is what I think they should do for most spells in the game. So let's say you have this spell, right? You have Rejuvenate, okay? So you have Tough Healing as well as Healing Frenzy, I believe. Rejuvenate increases attack by 6.8%. You see how, what this does? This makes it so you can customize your dragon a little bit. You can make them even tankier by adding more of these because technically speaking, you're adding 
basically 10% more health. And with this, you're increasing their attack. And if it's a warrior, you need more attack most of the time. So this, these runes are some of my favorite runes to get. Not because it's rejuvenate, because very few dragons actually have rejuvenate. But what this does is it allows you to customize your dragon. So what if they were to do this with every single spell or some spells, right? With the more common spells. Don't make it with, you know, like Lockdown, where Lockdown, you know, deals AoE damage. But how about you make it so there's a rune out there that Cloak, let's say, while Cloaked, um, you can do hit one shot more. Like, while Cloaked, you can hit a tower once while you're Cloaked. So while you're Cloaked, you can tap one tower once and as you level up you can hit let's say a max of you can hit a tower three times without uncloaking that's that's just an example right you could have it for a lot of different stuff um you can have you know let's say evasion maybe all right evasion <laughs> while you're in evasion you do increase damage because that's actually something that i think they should do um because evasion kind of sucks sorry sorry i hope amy isn't watching this uh you know, you know what I'm saying? So just make runes more customizable, all right? And I maybe even consider, you know, making it so the secondary modifier, so this one has rage generation plus 5.1%. Wait, that's not that's not a good example. So battle cry damage plus 6.8%, all right? And then instead of having increased lightning tower resist, how about having it battle cry also will decrease the amount of damage you take? You see what I'm saying? So just make it so runes can do more than just what they say they do. And I think it would add a little bit more, you know, str strategy in terms of, you know, what your dragons can do. I think it would be very, very beneficial towards the game. Uh, and I think they should definitely do it. Because, again, there's a lot of things out there. Like, all these runes. The big, again, it, it really comes down to PG needs to make it so... There are runes for every spell in the game, and you can get that in rune chest and have a rotation. Okay, have a rotation of the runes that you can get, and I think that would ch that would change a lot of the problems, right? Because I, again, I saw I saw several mentions about this on the forums, and a lot of people are saying, you know, we need to see all these new, you know, sp runes for spells in the game and all this jazz, and that's true. This needs to happen, PG. Uh, Atlas is great and all, but. I'm curious to know how many people would rather have runes for all these. Because people don't understand. Guys, runes can actually make a huge difference. Uh, if they were to make it a lot better, honestly, it could really add a ton of strategy. Seriously, it could. Like, all this stuff right here, this is a pretty strong Necrix. If they would make it so you could do this with every single dragon, not necessarily with Mythic and Legendaries, but have runes for every single dragon, I would probably spend money on Silver Chess. Honestly. If I was guaranteed to get new runes for my dragons and not just get, you know, lumber production, which is not bad, but it's not necessarily wanted, um, I would be a lot happier about all this. Is that what I wanted to cover? I think so. I think so. Um, again, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I, I don't I don't really see the unreason re reasonality, unreasonable of this uh to be honest i feel like this is something that should change in the game uh again let me know if you guys have any other suggestions or comments or concerns about this or maybe other ideas like i would be totally down to see some other ideas made with it uh where's oh i thought that was someone pg's nemesis um but yeah so if you guys enjoyed the video if you guys did leave a like if you sorry if you agreed leave a like and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one thank you guys so much for watching peace out guys